everyone! For a really long time now I've been wanting to make a video on all of the benefits of one of my favorite superfoods out there, maca. I love maca. It has so many incredible nourishing properties that benefit a whole bunch of different parts of our body. And so that's what I'm going to share with you today is what is maca, what are the different types of maca that you can buy, the benefits, the uses of it, and make sure that you stay until the end because I'm going to be sharing with you my happy maca smoothie recipe, a delicious tropical blend featuring maca. It's delicious, so let's begin! Maca is a root vegetable, like a potato. It's native to Peru. It is harvested and then dried and milled down into a powder, ideally at low temperatures to preserve its nutritional quality, its integrity. Um, I really like the company Navidas because it's non-GMO, it's organic. You can also buy maca either gelatinized or in its raw form. Basically what it means is they have removed the starches from it so it's digested a little bit better. It's usually bought um, as a powder or in capsule form. On to the health benefits. Maca is an adaptogen. This is one of my favorite benefits of maca. Adaptogens help us to cope with stress. They help us to adapt to stress. They nourish and strengthen our adrenal glands, which are responsible for the secretion of cortisol and adrenaline, that stress response, that fight or flight response. In today's world, balanced adrenal glands is key. And that's what I love about maca. It's an adaptogen. It helps to nourish our adrenal glands and our adrenal function. excellent benefit of maca and what it's kind of known for is its role in hormone balance. It's known to strengthen and support our endocrine system, so our thyroid gland, as well as a whole bunch of other hormonal related conditions like PMS. What maca does is it actually stimulates our hypothalamus and our pituitary glands. And when those glands are in balance, um, it can help to balance out other glands in the body. So our adrenal glands, our thyroid glands, our pancreas, even ovarian and testicular glands can all kind of be brought into a bit more balance when we take maca. Maca is known for being very, very energizing. So it makes a really great addition to your morning smoothie or even as an alternative to coffee. But the good thing about it is that you don't get any like crazy jitteriness from caffeine like you typically would from coffee so it doesn't really have that effect it's more of just a very energizing kind of uplifting um, effect it's also known to improve sexual health and libido and even fertility and I actually know a couple of people who can vouch for that who really found that uh, maca made a big difference when it comes to making babies Lastly, maca is extremely nutritious. It's rich in a whole bunch of vitamins and minerals, including our B vitamins, and bioavailable sources of calcium, and magnesium and iron. It's also rich in our amino acids, so protein, as well as alkaloids, which are there to support our endocrine function. So how can we use maca? It is extremely versatile. It has kind of like a it's like a sweet, kind of a subtle, nutty flavor. You can add it to your smoothie, like I mentioned. That's usually what I do with it. Uh, I'll add it to my smoothie. You can put it in dessert, so things like date balls, um, even ice cream. If you make like a homemade ice cream, put a scoop in there. You can mix it in with oatmeal or quinoa or even in like a pancake mix for the morning is a great idea. It's very potent. If you've never used maca before, I would suggest starting off with anywhere from a quarter of a teaspoon to one teaspoon. I use about half to one teaspoon of maca. I can't use any more than that because um, the first time, well, like when I first started to ever use maca, I had put a huge scoop in my smoothie and I kid you not, I was wired for like eight hours. Like I was just like, so it really, it gets me really, um, kind of wound up. So those are all of the fun facts that I wanted to share with you. And now I'm just going to get on to the smoothie recipe that I really want to share with you. It's delicious. For this recipe, you're going to need about half to three quarters of a cup of water, quarter of a cup of coconut milk, 
one frozen banana, one third of a cup of fresh mango or defrosted frozen mango, two chunks of fresh pineapple, and half a teaspoon of maca powder. So just blend up your ingredients and enjoy. Make sure to check out my blog for more information on maca as I talked about it a bit there too. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later.